All right, it's already been a really bad week for the deep state. Here to talk about the very latest developments and help break it all down, Senate Judiciary Committee Chairman Lindsey Graham. You know, I had you on, although when you don't avoid the show by traveling all over the world and you make yourself available, this is your first job. I don't understand why you say no. Um, My bad. <laughs> very bad. Exactly. I agree. Steele's stunning pre-FISA confessions. Yeah. This right. new report and the closed-door testimony where we know Bruce Orr under oath said, well, yeah. I told everybody in August of 2016 it's an unverified document, uh, the dossier, and Steele hates Trump mm -hmm. and Hillary paid for it. You yeah. know, as I do, that it's unverifiable. But does it not say at the top of a FISA warrant, I just learned this today, verified? Well, it's supposed to be. You're supposed to say under oath to the court that the document I'm presenting to you is, is accurate. That's the whole point of getting a warrant. You've got to have reliable information. But why is this so important? We know in August of 2016, Orr tells the FBI senior leadership, you've got to watch this Steele guy. He's out to get Trump. Now, what do we know? That Christopher Steele went to the Department of State on October the 11th to try to get the Department of State to release the dossier to the public for political reasons. They tell the FBI's this is 10 days before they get the first warrant application verified. So 10 days before they applied for the FISA warrant, they were told in August that Steele's out to get Trump. In October, Steele goes to the State Department trying to get them to release it to the public for a political reason. You know, you can't even make this up. Um, now, <laughs> yeah. I understand this, there is a Florida case and we might get information from Steele, but we do know in the interrogatory where he was under the threat of, of perjury, he actually said, I have no idea if any of this is true, 50-50 uh, right. at best. So doesn't that then render the dossier, the dirty Russian dossier, right. unverifiable? Well, why is this important? We should all be concerned if our government's getting a warrant against American citizen under the FISA Surveillance Act without accurate information. What do we know? We know that without the dossier, the warrant would not have been issued. People in charge tell us that. We now know that the author of the dossier, Christopher Steele, was on the payroll of the Democratic Party. He was not a reliable informant for the FBI. He was trying to destroy Trump because he's paid by the Democrats to take Trump down. They knew all of this and should have known all this before they applied for the warrant. So here's what needs to happen. Somebody needs to go to the FISA court and tell them that the FBI had plenty of notice that this guy was on the payroll of the Democratic Party and he was out to get Trump and the dossier was not verified. Senator, the I'm not that smart. It. Would that be a conspiracy to commit fraud on a FISA court? And where I grew up in New York, yeah. and I know down in South Carolina where you grew up, you were yeah. you were living in a bar. I was working in a bar till 4:30. <laughs> we have similar backgrounds. Yeah, right. um, uh, where I grew up, you you say yes, ma'am, no, ma'am, yes, sir, no, so yes, your honor, no, your honor, and if you lie to the judge, it's not going to work out really well in the end. Well, here's the question. How could you not know that Steele should be looked at really hard, given what Orr said and given his actions on October 11th? You got to remember. The guy who started this still went to the State Department, and I don't know why he went to the State Department, for the expe express purpose of having the State Department release the dossier before the election. And that was memorialized, we now know. That's the interesting yeah. part. And we have more, more emails coming. Days before the warrant. Let me ask you, yeah, before the warrant, just like Orr said, he told everyone. Yeah. Let me go to Robert Mueller for a second. You said you don't care whether or not he yeah. testifies, that's up to him. Trump may yeah. stop it, but I don't know if I want that because Mueller, I want to know when did he know there was no <laughs> conspiracy with the Trump campaign in Russia as, as, as it relates to collusion of any kind. Uh, when did he know that? Um, why did he hire only Democrats and even Hillary's attorney and one attorney known for withholding exculpatory evidence and having a really bad track record and failing? <laughs> And why was he not concerned about Hillary's dirty Russian dossier when he had plenty of time to look into the medallions and Farrah laws and loan applications and taxes? I would think the Russian dossier would have been important to Robert Mueller. But what do I know? Well, I need somebody needs to look at this like Mueller looked at Trump. And here's the question. Why would the FBI classify this exchange between Steele and the State Department and the FBI April of this year. Mm-hmm. Wow. 
Now, this is pretty interesting. <laughs> they classified Will you pledge the to the American people tonight, Senator? As the Attorney General told you, I thought you had the best line of questioning last week, that it's important if Hillary's investigation into criminal yeah. activity was rigged, whether or not they tried to rig a presidential election, right. whether a fraud was committed against the yeah. FISA court, whether there was leaking of intel, whether the intel community was weaponized against the American people, and whether or not they tried to bludgeon the president of the United States with the opposition party candidate lies to unseat a duly elected president. Are all those issues on the table? You better believe it for Attorney General Barr and myself. We've got to get to the bottom of it and make sure it never happens again. Is the Mueller issue dead now? Case closed. Thank you, Senator. You're dismissed. Thank you.